A new warning tonight from police. They're out with new pictures of suspects who they believe are at the center of a major shoplifting ring. The latest target, a woman who lost her wallet only to find out it was busy on a 24-hour shopping spree. News 6's Justin Wormuth is live at the Walmart in Coco, where the suspects used that woman's card. And Justin, you spoke to that victim today. What did she have to say? Well, Ginger, she is, as you can imagine, very shaken up by all of this. In her wallet was her credit cards, debit cards, driver's license, even some insurance cards. Now, what happened was she was headed to the gas station, had her wallet on her lap like this, and when she got out of the car, it apparently fell to the ground without her knowing at first. She thought that she may have left her cards and wallet at home, but then about an hour and a half later, charges started to rack up on those cards here at this Walmart. I was really, really hurt knowing that people will, you know, just take your, your items and just use them for their personal gain. Roxanne Kyle said the crooks racked up almost $2,000 on her credit card at two different Walmarts after finding her wallet at this gas station in Rockledge. I, I read about it and I go to the internet and I look at things like this and most of the time when people get your uh, information, I don't know why, but they always go to Walmart. Rockledge police gave us this video from inside both of the stores, one on Clear Lake Road in Coco, the other on Wickham Road in Vieira. In the video, four suspects, one man, and three women are seen buying TVs, video game consoles, even betting before driving off in their white SUV. Well, I hope you enjoy the things that you have taken, and uh, and I hope that you you know get caught soon. They are very cool. Very calm, they had their story down. And because of the way they carried themselves, Lieutenant Bob Weigel with Rockledge Police thinks the suspects could be part of a larger theft ring in Central Florida. He points out the male suspect's tattoos that could ultimately catch someone's eye. The tattoos will stand out like a sore thumb. I, I, would, I would hope somebody could ID them so we can get them off the street before they do this again. Now, Mrs. Kyle says the bank and Walmart are working right now to get that money back on her card. She just wishes Walmart would have checked for an ID when the suspects were making those large purchases. For now, reporting live in Coco in Brevard County, Justin Mormouth, U6. And Justin, great illustration on how she actually dropped her wallet. We've all done something similar to that before, but hopefully she can get the help she needs. Thank you. And police want to help get results. You can catch these suspects. If you have any information, call Crime Line. It's 1-800-423-TIPS.